In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this idea generation slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've taken this uh, silver design of the human face and I've added the brain here and then in the brain I've added a different color gear shapes and then I've added the icons as well. So how the slide works is when I click, you can see here the gear started rotating or spinning and when I click, it will show me the first idea and then second click it will show me the idea number two the idea three four and idea five so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these ideas and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert pictures, select the online pictures. And here I'm going to type, uh, I'll just say side face silhouette. And this will give me uh, all these images. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the right image. So I'm just going to choose this one and click on insert. So you can see here a human face has been inserted here. So depending on my requirement, I'm just going to reduce the size and put it down and make sure that this is aligned center. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this as white. So here there's no option to make it white for that. You need to right mouse click, go to format picture and under the this one, which is the picture correction. You can see here the brightness. I'm just going to increase this one and this becomes white. All right, let me just close this now and then I'm going to draw a brain here. So go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose a oval shape, draw the oval shape like this. You can see here, press control D, just make one one smaller like that. And again, press control D. So you can just increase or decrease the size. All right, and then I'm just going to add few more here then one I'm going to make it somewhat bigger which will be here and then one smaller and here I'm going to add one rounded corner rectangle and make this as fully curved reduce the size and something like this and here inside also I'm just going to make one more press ctrl D and cover this one so once this is done i'm going to select all these options or the oval shapes which i have added merge shape and make it union and then you can increase or decrease the size so you can see here something like this and once this is done shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can choose any color of your choice i'm just going to choose this uh the, the blue color combination so once this is done, you can add one new slide also. And here I'm just going to add the gears. For that, first go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. You can choose any shape here. If you want, you can use the rectangle, rounded corner rectangle, or you can want, you can use this flowchart terminator also. So this flowchart terminator, I'm going to draw like this, align center, align middle then press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle then hold the alt and the right arrow key two times you can just press it or if you want you can make it one also depending on your requirement again press ctrl d it will get duplicated and one more time you can see here you can just make it like this ctrl d so it becomes very very small see you can see here so if you don't want this much you can just make two times click also so it looks something like this and once this is done i'm just going to select and make it union all right and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape and put it in the center again make sure to align center align middle so this one from this i'm going to intersect or subtract it sorry then shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can choose any color and keep it aside i'm going to add one more 
let me just select the rounded corner rectangle make it somewhat rounded corner again align center align middle press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle then hold the alt and two times you press the right arrow key again the same thing ctrl d alt and two times okay so once this is done go to insert shapes i'm going to draw the oval shape again again align center align middle then this one i'm going to make it as a union and i'm going to add one more oval shape to subtract it again align center align middle hold this one hold the shift key merge shape and intersect and shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice so i'm going to select this one Control c bring it here Control v now reduce the size by holding the shift key and put this one here in the center like this maybe this is a a bit bigger one then hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here more smaller you can make it just align it properly so like this i can just make ctrl d to duplicate again reduce the size and give some different color combination Control D, you can add one more here. Again, I'm giving some different color. So depending on your requirement, you can add as many uh, gears you want. All right, press Control D. I'm going to reduce the size here. And this one, I'm going to give it blue. So just add uh, the number of gears depending on the requirement. Then I'm just going to add one more bigger one here let me just put it here and i'm going to give maybe a green color <laughs> like this gears you can create and then you can add the arrow also for that arrow go to the smart art and scroll down for the arrow this arrow you can see here click ok and i'm going to select this arrow press ctrl c click outside then i'm deleting this one and ctrl v paste ok reduce the size so depending on the requirement you can see here and then give different color combinations and rotate it as per the requirement you can see here let me just zoom in and i'm going to bring it here you can see here like this again press ctrl d move to the other side rotate it so like this you can add the arrows but before that one let me just select this hold the shift key and select one by one all right let me just select this one yeah and now i'm going to the animations enable the animation pane add animation from the emphasis i'm going to select the spin you can see here it's all spinning now right mouse click effect options and go to the timings make it as until end of the slide and click ok so you can see here it all started spinning so this one is spinning the clockwise now i want this one to spin at the counterclockwise so double click this one here you can see the amount and click on the counterclockwise and click ok and this also i want to spin this one counterclockwise double click timing sorry effects counterclockwise so whichever way you want counterclockwise you can select maybe this one also i want a counterclockwise and select this click ok so if i play you can see here it looks something like this all right so once this is done if you want you can just go to insert and add the icons for uh, the gears here if you want okay so once this is done what we need to do is we need to add the arrows so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate move it aside increase the size you can see here and i'm going to make this as white color 
and I can just rotate it and put it here okay I can put like this this is my option one press ctrl D bring it here this is my option two now here I'm just going to rotate it and here also so I need four options I'm just going to put the four options like this and then go to insert text box you can type your idea one I'm going to make it bold open sans and color is white if you want you can increase it and then you can add some detailed text add detail text here open sans again or any font of your choice and put it here so i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate bring it here ctrl d this one is for this again ctrl d here and then let me just make this as two this is three and this is the idea of four so once this is done i'm going to add the animation here again go to the animations add animation I'm going to choose wipe you can see here wipe I'm going to make it from right and then for this I'm going to add animation more entrance effects stretch and stretch make it from right also and this should happen after previous now it's easy for me I'm going to select this one click on this then I'm going to choose the animation painter for this now I'm going to choose here instead of left I'm going to make it instead of right I'm going to make it left and then again this one you can see here and then this again if you want you can make this as from left this is also from left so now if I play the slide when I click you can see here it started rotating and then the idea one comes idea two idea 3 and idea 4 and if you like to add some shadow effect you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape all right and shape outline no outline shape fill make it black close the animation right mouse click go to format shape increase the transparency and go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size and send this to back all right so like this you can make the shadow effect as well and you want you can add the main title here